ASRock 13 GPU H110 Pro BTC Plus Mining Motherboard. Before I unbag this motherboard, I would like to thank ASRock for supplying me with this board. I have been eagerly awaiting the release of this board and I appreciate the chance to be able to review and test it out early. I am truly honored to have this exciting opportunity. Thank you again ASRock. So let's get on with the show and I'll take it out of the bag. And here it is. The ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus Mining Motherboard. You can see there are 13 PCIe slots. And I really like the color scheme of this board, the white and the black. It's really sharp. You can see there are two Molex connectors and a SATA connector to provide those PCIe slots with extra power. ASRock does recommend that you use the Molex and SATA connectors for the extra power on the motherboard. However, when I do my build, I'm going to first try without the Molex and SATA power connectors. And then if there are any stability problems, I will try with the Molex and SATA power connectors. I know with ASRock Pro BTC, it is recommended to use the Molex power connectors. But if you're using the USB risers, it's 100% stable without it. The same with TB250. If you're using USB risers, you do not need to use the Molex connectors. So I'll try it out and we'll see how that goes. There's also an M.2 slot, which is actually only a SATA slot, so I don't think it'll work with a PCI adapter, but I'll try anyway. And there are four SATA 3 connectors, so you can use a regular SATA 3 SSD. It has an LGA 1151 socket, 8 phase power, and two DDR4 slots. A very nice addition to this board are the power and reset buttons on the board. You don't actually have to plug in a power and reset button. It's right on the board. This is very convenient for an open air frame setup. You can see that ASRock has put in a lot of research and development, a lot of thought and care in the creation of this board. I'm not positive, but I think this chip here is responsible for allowing the 13 PCIe slots to work on this board. Here's a closer look at the motherboard. Again, the power and reset switches, very convenient, very nice addition. The 13 PCIe slots. Again, I really like that color design. There's two PS2 ports for a mouse and keyboard, DVI output. 4 USB 2.0 and 2 USB 3.0, Ethernet, and audio. And here's a quick look at the back of the board. So that is the ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus Mining Motherboard. I will be doing a build with this over the next day or so. I'll be trying it with different mixes of cards, and I'll be trying it in both Windows and Linux. So stay tuned, much more to come. I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.